for Outlook Basics. We're going to create a folder today to help us stay a little more organized. So stay tuned. We're going to jump right to it. So the first thing we want to do is when we're looking at our inbox and managing our email, we want to be able to organize our information. And so we can use folders to do that. And you can see some examples of folders that I have in my system. And I will dump information into those folders on occasion. Now, I personally am not a big fan of keeping information within Outlook, although lots and lots of people do. So I'm going to show you how to do some of those, some of the tips and tricks on how to do that. So here we can do a right click on the folders. Now, by the way, I'm in the Outlook web client. I'm in Office 365 on the web. This is not the full version of Outlook or what we would call a fat client. So here we go. Let's go ahead and do a right click here and say create new folder. Notice here it drops me right down here and I'm just going to put in um, tasks for video which is what we're doing right now. And you could give it a name, any name that you want, okay? Now there's the folder, pretty simple, right? If you want that folder to appear up here in your favorites section, we're just gonna click right there, say add to favorites, there it is. If you wanna get rid of the folder here, you can go here, remove it from favorites. If you don't want it in favorites anymore and you wanna remove it from your system, you can just right click again using the right click on your mouse you can select here right click and then delete the folder so we can do lots of things remove from favorites you can do rename it things like that and you can also create within the folders what we call a subfolder so let's go and take a look at that so this will just say sub for video and now notice that appears there as a subfolder Okay, so that's pretty easy. And then we can delete that as well, the same way, delete the folder, and there we go. So pretty simple to create folders for your environment. Uh, stay tuned to other videos. We're gonna talk about how to populate those by dragging information there and setting rules.